Hey everybody, Brett from SeniorGolfSource.com. Today I'm going to share with you a practice drill that will help eliminate the slice. Before we get into that, I want to make sure that the pre-swing fundamentals are there. So understanding the grip, I've done a couple videos on the grip. Uh, we'll share some links below that really go into some detailed specifics. But what we really need are some uh, understanding of the placement of the hands and how it affects the club face. So very briefly, I'll cover that. Lead hand, so our glove hand is a right-handed golfer. It would be my left. I'm going to make sure that I have that neutral position. So looking down, I can see my pointer finger knuckle, my middle finger knuckle, and that the apex of the V between the thumb and pointer finger are at least on the sternum, um, clavicle, maybe right shoulder. That's really going to dictate my, my range of motion as I swing through the club. If I go to what more of an average golfer that does slice the ball, typically they weaken their grip. So at this point, I can't see any knuckles. At this point, I can't even see the, the apex of the V between the thumb and pointer finger. It's more over here, you know, left side of my body. And what that does, it greatly reduces my ability to rotate to the face. If I put it back in neutral, I've got a lot more movement to rotate. So that is one of the main basic fundamentals. And then the next fun fundamental I want to cover is your posture. Let's make sure that we're in a good athletic position, not the opposite. Um, you know, think of being athletically ready. The weight should be on the balls of your feet. If I asked you to pivot out of this position or move athletically forward, you're not going to be able to do it in this position where all the weight's driven into the heels, maybe your back's rounded, you're just kind of set up sloppy. You know, if you stage at that position, think about what's got to operate the club, your arms. And that starts to make things more vertical and swinging over the top is a statement that if you're a slicer of the golf ball, you're pretty well acclimated with what that means. So we've got the grip understanding, we've got the posture understanding, now we're going to jump into the actual drill itself. So for this drill, um, I have my seven iron and I have uh, just a rubber tee, just something soft that you can, you can place in position because if your club hits it, I don't want to damage your club. I don't want you to hurt your hands. So something soft. So I've got an old rubber tee. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up in position to a ball. Now what I'm going to do is using where the club is, kind of keeping it directly behind the ball, I'm going to go back about five inches and I'm going to place that tee on the ground or whatever soft object you have there and I'm going to place it so that if I were to take the club back it doesn't obstruct my backswing but it will become in the way of the path of my downswing if I swing over the top. So before you hit a ball, place another tee or maybe if you're out in the grass look at an area on the ground and do that same measurement so center your club up to it five inches back place it just outside the toe of the club and what we're going to do here is swing and bottom out let that club bottom out let it hit the ground because i don't want you to go from hitting slices to just hitting a bunch of thin shots but if you were to violate and swing over the top this is what would happen Notice I hit the tee, I swung way over the top. That's that slicer's move, that's what we don't want. So now I'm gonna put it to the test. So maybe after a series of, of swings where you feel like, all right, I'm not hitting that tee anymore. The club is bottoming out, therefore my path has to be inside to out, or at least neutral. Then we're going to start hitting golf balls with it. So now I'll place the golf ball in position Again, square the face, make sure that you go at least five inches back away from target and place that tee so it's just outside the toe of the club. And now I'll go to hit, and I go to hit, I've hit that shot that most golfers want to hit, either straight or a little bit of a draw. And it's really going to benefit you in how you strike the ball. Um, this is something that you can do basically with all your clubs. If you struggle with your wedges, this is a great drill. If you struggle with your irons, it's a phenomenal drill. And for those of you that really just hate hitting the driver off the tee because you hit this huge banana slice, 
This is an exceptional drill to help you understand what it feels like to neutralize your path and to get that club face a little bit more square. Now, as you work with this drill, you're gonna find that maybe you need to adjust your grip. So just kind of go by what you see the ball flight do. If you're starting to hit the ball more solid, but you're hitting these really hard hooks, there might be a good chance that you went really strong with your left hand grip and maybe you need to neutralize it more. Um, in some cases, maybe you need to go slightly weak. Um, there's a good combination to where you'll find that Goldilocks potion that, that's just right for you. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you find more fairways in regulation and pump that ball down the center. So thanks again for stopping by. Please like and subscribe for more.